A home should be more than just a place of shelter. Whatever it is, big, small, townhouse, estate, or ranch, a home should be a sanctuary, a symbol of success. Wherever it is, in town, downtown, or out of town, a home should provide an opportunity to live a better life. But what if you have to drive 35 miles to work each day because the only home you can afford is that far away? Having to commute back and forth to work every day in the traffic, it, it's very frustrating and it is draining. It stresses you out and then the fact again that I have the two kids and, and I'm stressed out and they're tired of sitting in the car and we don't even live that far away. We create a lot of our own problems. Uh, some of the reasons we have tremendous traffic jams is because we're forcing people who work in our community, in our factories, and in our retail jobs, we're forcing them to live in the neighboring county or even further. And because of that, they're having to get on our highways and they're clogging up all the highways. In Metro Atlanta, one third of households earn $40,000. They include our firefighters, police officers, teachers, nurses, bank tellers, and store clerks. Lenders say that families earning $40,000 can afford to buy a house costing $120,000. But since the average price in the region is $240,000, where can people providing essential services live? Certainly not in the areas shown in red, where the average price for a home is $240,000 or more. Instead, they're forced to live in the blue areas, where average prices are $120,000 or less and where they face a long commute into Metro Atlanta. The vast majority of people that are coming to the city cannot afford to pay $240,000 for, for an individual home. And so we see that we need to have greater options in terms of housing stock. So we need to have not only single family residential, we need to have more apartments, we need to have more townhomes, more lofts, more stacked flats at a variety of price points so that everyone is able to live here that wants to live here. The combination of traffic, exorbitant gas prices, and lack of affordable housing close to work is taking a toll on the workforce that makes up our local communities, reducing the quality of life, increasing levels of stress, and separating seniors from their families. Well, I think in, in Metro Atlanta, you have to have a certain income in order to, uh, to live in certain parts of the city. And unfortunately, uh, there are people such as my mother, who is retired, uh, who cannot afford to live in the same city that I do, unfortunately. And we're forcing these people out to the outer lying areas of, of metropolitan Atlanta. No one wants life-threatening situations to be handled by stressed out firefighters, weary police officers, and exhausted doctors and nurses. Nor do we want our schools to be staffed by teachers whose concentration is impaired by the ravages of a long daily commute. But that's what's happening, and it's getting worse. When I arrive at work, I'm ready to go in a corner and de-stress because I'm already stressed. It's, it's like I need a quiet moment. 12, 14 miles can take at least an hour or an hour and a half going up 78 and trying to get home. But it's not all bad news. There is a solution to this growing problem, and you can be a part of that solution. As usual, we have the public-private partnership in Atlanta with the Chamber working with the public sector to not only identify the problem, but identify the solution. So I think we need to keep everyone engaged. That's the first issue, because the sensitivity and awareness is there, that this is an issue that we need to address. Well, I think you've got to look at a number of things. I think you've got to uh, have a elected officials, whether it's county government or city government, who are willing to look at the fact that, uh, you know, we need to have a broad base of housing in their community. Um, we need to look at the fact, maybe looking at some type of inclusive zoning, where we agree that we do need a workforce that lives in our community. Less expensive housing developments don't mean that neighborhoods will be flooded with undesirable residents or that the crime rate will automatically soar. We all want the opportunity a home should provide, the opportunity for a better quality of life. And with your commitment and support, we can seize this opportunity to create the kind of region that our local communities need and deserve. This is a critical, critical issue for Atlanta. We intend to be not a city in America. We intend to be the city in Atlanta that people want to visit, want to relocate, Help us broaden our tax base and enjoy the lifestyle in Atlanta. Come on, we're ready to have you here.